the dirty 30 times two. So we're gonna get even dirtier today. So we have 15 exercises. Keep moving, okay guys? We have 15 exercises. We're gonna do each exercise 30 times. We are going to do 30 seconds of cardio in between each exercise, okay? Then we're gonna finish with some core on the floor, although I do have some core mixed in with this. Uh, I will show you variations. So eyes up here towards the end of the 30 exercises, so you can see what's coming next, and you can pick your variation, okay? I'm just gonna have a quick drink, keep moving. I feel like I've already been talking too much. Okay, first move is a touchdown. Grab your weights. Put those weights together like this. Okay, so you're gonna squat down, touch the weights to the floor. Come on up, press them up overhead. Squat down, touch, up, touch, up. Good, down and up. So everybody should be nice and warmed up by now. Down. And up when you're doing those squats, of course. All of those principles apply. As you come up, squeeze the glutes, right? Fire everything. And up. Keep that tummy strong. And up. Good. Keep pushing. Down and up. So I'm just holding two four pound weights together. Of course, if you have a kettlebell, you might want to use that. Or one heavier weight, whatever works for you. Or nothing. That's fine too. Down and up. Down, up. Good. Keep pushing. Up next is that cardio. Down, up. Woo! This will get you warmed up pretty darn quick, right? Down and up. Jumping jacks is our first cardio move. We're almost there. Six, five, four, getting ready to do 30 seconds of jumping jacks. Two, and last one. Weights, get tucked away safely. 30 seconds, go. Jumping jacks, either the full or you're right here, okay? Both work. I just want you moving. So I'm gonna cue the cardio, but if you wanna do each and every cardio like this, marching or walking, you feel free to do so. You've got 10 seconds left. Keep pushing here. Three, two, one, good. Grab those weights back. You can either sit or stand. Overhead triceps, weights come up. They are glued together like this. Down and up, down and up. You're doing triceps, so if you wanna sit down, go ahead, take a seat. Good. Perfect. And up. Good, tummy strong. As your arms go behind your head, you do not open up that rib cage, right? Stay nice and long. Woo. We're over the halfway mark. Let's go. We've got 10, 9, 8, 7. Side tap outs coming up next. Five, four, three, two, and last one. Nice. Weeps aside. Tap it out. Switch, switch, switch. Again, this is cardio. Okay? So if you want to be doing this, you can just tap it out like this. You can hold the march. Every time you can hold the march. You want to kick it up a notch? Jump it. Tap it out. Tap, tap, good. Keep pushing. This workout's gonna go real quick. It's constantly changing. Keep pushing. Good, nice job. Give me 10 seconds. Keep those arms. 
arms moving. Two, and last one. Let's grab a quick drink. Side lunges. We're gonna do 15 per side, okay? Nice wide stance. Actually take the hands in front, down, curl it. Down, curl it, good. 15 on each side. Good, getting that bicep curl in there too. Good, we have five more. And then we go to the other side. Two, last one. Over the other side, palms in now. Palms come in. Good. There we go. Whew. Over the halfway mark now. You got six left. Five, four, three, it's jogging next. Two, last one. Good, weights go down. Jogging, keep those arms moving. This one is not as high intensity because we're going down on the floor after this. Mountain climbers, butterfly bridge, press outs. So if you want to grab your mat, once we get through this, for those next three exercises, you can. Good, 15 seconds. Five seconds, tummy strong, arms are moving. Two, one, okay, grab a drink. Now, if you want to grab your mat, you can go ahead and grab your mat. I'm not going to use it until I flip over. Mountain climbers are first. They can be done on an incline. They can be done on the floor. 30 of them. Get into position. Nice long line position. Go. Foot comes in. Then switch. Switch. Okay? Incline is easier. So if you've never done these, start here and take breaks as you need to. Otherwise, you're here. Tummy strong. Shoulders right over your wrists, regardless of whether you're on the floor or an incline. Good. Ten, nine, eight, five, four, three, two, one. Nice job. Going on our backs now. So I'm getting my mat out. Butterfly bridge. Bottom of the feet are together. Knees are out to the side. Push into those feet. Lift the hips. Tap it back down. Press up again. Up. Up. Good. You're squeezing those glutes. As you come up, pressing into those feet. Hips stay level. Press, press, press. Good. Nice job. I stay up at the ceiling. Keep the arms out of it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Legs come up into tabletop. Or you can leave them on the floor. Arms come back. Core. Ready? Up. And down. Up. Good. You're coming up into your flexion and coming back down. Okay? Or those feet can stay flat on the floor. Up and down. Pulling up and in on that pelvic floor the whole time. You're not pushing out on it at all. And again, guys, if you need a little break, take one. Don't sacrifice your form. 
Your form starts to go, come out of the exercise, take a breath, come back in. Up. We've got eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Good. Grab a knee. Pull yourself up. Mac goes inside. Now, you might be thinking, hey, we missed some cardio there, Katie. Don't worry. We're doing an hour and a half right now. An hour and a half. A minute and a half. Knee up. Knee up. Okay, so we've got time to make up for because we were on the mat. So knee comes up. Want to make this one harder? You got it. You can see it already. Some of you guys are doing this. Add that jump. Good. Nice job. You can always go between jumping and just bringing the knee up. Good. Arms are moving with you. Keep pushing, guys. Good. Perfect. Hair is like a crazy person. Keep moving. You're over halfway. Woo. 20 seconds left. Almost there. Keep pushing yourselves, guys. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yes, keep the arms moving. I don't care if you're running, marching, whatever you're doing. You got 10 seconds. Give me all you can. Two, and last one. Okay, definitely need a drink. Grab those weights back. Overhead press. This one's gonna get real tough real soon. Here, we're here. Press it up. Press it up. Good. I'm sticking with my fours. Good. Tummy strong. Don't lean back. Right? Press. Press. Good. You got 10 left. Push it. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five, four, three, two, one. Nice job, great five. Let's go, great five. So great five is just step together, step tap. Step together, step tap. Super, like I think there's the most variations of this one exercise in the history of man. Okay, you can walk it. Move those arms, you can bring it behind. You can add a hop, you can add a knee. Good. Crunch your heart as much as you can. You only have 30 seconds of these guys in between each move. Good. Give me five more seconds. Good, last one. Good, grab a drink if you need one. Okay, 30, out and in. Out, in, out, in, out. Good. Not in the mood to jump, step it. Step it. Okay? You can jump it or you can step it. Good, nice job. Good, you're over halfway now. Seven left. Five, four, three, two, last one. Shuffles, shuffle to the side. Front, back, front, back. Shuffle the other way. Add some arms. Punch, 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 punch. Shuffle, get low. There we go. Up next is 
push ups. So we're doing those push ups. Wall, incline, floor, knees, or fully extended. You gotta do 30. Good, keep pushing. Shuffle. Last full set. Good. All right, push ups. Wall, incline, floor. Let's go, we got 30. Down and up. Good. As long as you're in one long line, regardless of where you're doing it, right? Down, back up, down, back up. Good, nice job. <clears throat> Halfway. Perfect, nice form guys, nice form. Nice. Eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, two more. We're gonna jump and run it back. Last one, turn around. Broad jump, if you can, two feet to two feet, run it back. Or step, step, run it back. And then you would step with the other foot. Step, step, run it back, okay? You got 30 seconds here. Good, great job, big jump, big jump. Nice soft landing. Keep going. You're over halfway. Good, two more jumps guys, all together, let's go, big jump. One more, let's do it. Good, grab a drink. Up next, deadlifts. Okay, so I'm gonna grab those weights again. Widen them hip distance apart. Slight bend at the knee, tip. Come back up, squeeze the glutes. Tip, back up. So the angle at the knee, does not change. It changes a little bit, but not much. Unlike a squat where you drop the knee, this is just a hinge at the hips. Okay, the focus becomes more on the back of the leg, so the hamstrings and the glutes. Back up, down, back up. Perfect. You never want to take your spine and round it, okay? Keep that tummy strong. Tip forward, come back up and squeeze. Down, back up. <clears throat> Good, nice job. And up, down, and up. Keep going. Good, you should be feeling this in the back of the legs. Let's go for eight, seven, Six, we've got skaters coming up next. Five, again, you can always revert to running or jogging on the spot. Three, two, and last one. Good, set those aside safely. One side, other side. One side, other side, okay? Or you step it, okay? You step it, good. Or you jump it. Good, chest comes up in between. Up, down, up, down, good. <clears throat> I bet I look exactly like a professional skater right now. I named this move after my solid skating moves. Woo -woo. Good, 10 seconds. Two, and last one. Good. Legs are getting sore, right? <clears throat> Bent over fly. 
So we're gonna hold that tipped over position. I'll show you from kind of the front here. Okay, up like this. Good. So everybody tip forwards, weights hanging in front, arms up. So you bring those elbows up to the ceiling. Good. If you want to, you can do one at a time. Lean on your bench or chair. Okay? Same move though. So it's coming up to the side like this. Good. So it's not coming up behind. Like this, out to the side. Perfect. Squeezing between those shoulder blades. If you're doing one side, switch to the other side now. Good. So if you're doing one, perfect. Switch to the other side. If you've just got one arm going. Up. Perfect. Woo. Six. Five. Four. And three more. We're all going to run on the spot. Two. Last one. Running on the spot. Arms are moving. Arms are moving. Yes. <laughs> Ponytails are flailing, arms are moving. So we got two moves left, guys. You're almost there. Two moves left. Ten seconds. The last two are good. We're bad. Whatever. I think they're good. Two seconds. One. Done. <clears throat> Grab a quick drink. The dreaded frogger. So you are either on an incline or you are on the floor. I'm gonna go incline to start. Long line, and then like a push up, and then you sink back, press it out. Come on, guys, let's go. Sink back, press it out. You wanna drop that bum towards the heels and then press it out. Good. Keep that tummy strong, right? So as you come forward, you're not dra dropping those hips. Lock it out. One long line. <clears throat> Good. Keep going. I'll just show you. Keep you doing it on the floor. So if you don't have a bench or something sturdy, you can do it on like the edge of your couch or your bed. Get your kid to set up maybe in like a tabletop like this. You can do it up, kid. Just kidding. Good, you've got eight left. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two, going back to those jumping jacks. Last one. Good, up you come. Jumping jacks. Good, or you're here, right? Good, if you need a little bit of a downer, that's when you take it down a little, you move to something more like this. Or again, you can always be marching or walking on the spot. Ten seconds. One move left. Two. And last one. Good. Grab a drink if you need it. Last move. Nice deep parallel squat. Hold your weights. Put them up on your shoulders here. You are just slightly wider than hip distance apart. Down and up. Down and up. So it's a parallel squat. Okay, so your legs stay nice and close together. Down and up. We gotta crush out 30 of these guys. Let's do it. Good. No cardio after this. Then we're gonna cool it down and get ready to go onto the mat. Good, we're just over halfway. Woo. 
10 more. Seven, six, five left, that's it. Four, three, two, and last one. Nice job, whoop, whoop. Okay, set those weights down. Walk around the space a little bit, catch your breath, have some water. We are gonna do some more core work on the floor. So keep moving around. When you feel ready, grab onto that mat. Good, set the mat down. If you have to adjust your screen or bring me with you or whatever you gotta do, go for it. Okay, we're all set. Let's go ahead and go down. All right, both legs up. Okay, you're gonna tap a heel, bring it up. Tap the other heel, bring it up. Good, for now I've left my head on the mat. If you wanted to make this a little bit more challenging, you can come right up into flexion. You just gotta keep those elbows wide. Okay, don't bring them in here. Keep the elbows wide, keep the tummy strong. If you feel the low back moving off that mat at all, come back down. Okay, slow the movement down a little bit. You can even tuck your hands under your hips to force those hips back. The key is that the low back stays on the mat the whole time. Good. <clears throat> so lots of options there. Two more sets. And last one. Good. All right, feet come down. Shoulder bridge, the standard shoulder bridge. So I want you to come up. You're gonna tap out, let's say your right heel, tap it out for three, two, one. Good, leave those hips up, other side for three, two, one. Good, hips go back down. Hips come back up, right side. Three, two, one. Keep those hips up, left side for three, two, one, good, hips go down. Lengthen those feet away from you. Still have a slight bend at the, at the knee, okay? And then walk them a little bit wider. Arms come up overhead. Throw your arms forward, see how high you can come. Bring them back, nice and slow and controlled, okay? Because I'm letting you use momentum, you should be able to come up a little bit higher than when we're just doing a regular crunch. Might not be all the way up. Four, three, two, and last one. Good, bring those feet back to a standard start position. Take one leg, cross it over the other leg. <coughs> Sorry guys, arms come behind your head, rotate across the body, elbow to knee, back down. Same side, elbow to knee. It's not gonna come all the way to the knee. I'm actually nowhere near my knee, but that's the direction you're going. So opposite elbow towards the opposite knee. Tummy is strong. <clears throat> Four, three, two, and last one, good. That foot goes down, other foot goes up. Ready, rotate the other side, across the body, back down. We have four more, then we're gonna finish strong with the bicycle. Three, two, and last one, good. Both legs up, come up into your flexion, bicycle. So the legs are switching, switch, switch, switch. Elbows stay wide, tummy is strong. If you need a break, come out of it. You can always put your head down. You can tuck your hands under your, under your hips. Keep pushing. I want you to give me 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. 
Last one. Good. All the way down. Stretch all the way out. Lengthen out that body. Nice deep breaths. Stretching out that tummy. Good. One more. Arms come down. Grab one leg. Pull it up. Good. So you're stretching out the back of that leg there, that hamstring. Don't grab onto the back of your knee. Right in the back of your knee there, there's a bunch of nerves in there. Okay, so grab up a little bit higher. <clears throat> Good, cross that leg over, pick up the base leg, gently pull it in, apply a little bit more pressure if you'd like to with that same elbow. Just to deepen that stretch. All right, let's go ahead and release that leg. Grab the other one, gently pull it in towards you. And cross the leg over, pick up that baseline, gently apply some pressure with the elbow. Good, roll onto your side, bring the top leg up behind you, grab onto the meaty part of the shoe, make sure you're pulling that leg right up behind you and not out to the side here. <coughs> Excuse me. Good, this one can also, of course, all of these can be done standing if you prefer. Other side. Stretching out the quad, so the front of that leg there. All right, let's come up to a standing position. Open up that chest, thumbs are up. Bring one arm across. Open up the chest, thumbs are down. One arm across. Good, nice deep breath in. And exhale. And you're all done. Awesome. Thank you so much, you guys.